Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of finding the area of a rectangle. This is standard 3.6c in the great state of Texas and we're using number 22 off the 2017 released star test. Please take a moment if you haven't done so already to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it we will look at our answers together. So we've got five different rectangles labeled rectangles B through Z. And we've got some squares starting to be overlapped. Each of them, they are equal size. And what we have is this task. Can we find some rectangles that have an area of 36 square centimeters? Now, each of these little squares, as we see, counts for one, 30, one square centimeter. So we just need to see where can we put 36 of these little squares on each of these rectangles. And our answers are kind of tricky because it's going to be more than one, could be three, could be all five. F has got all five. So how do we find the area? Well, one thing we need to make sure we understand is that the area is the inside. And so that's why on each of these rectangles, they've started to overlap some squares on the inside. Perimeter is something else. Perimeter is outside. So we'll deal with perimeter in some other videos. But right now we're looking at area. And we need to see, so let's start up here at rectangle V. So we've got it started. And if we wanted to, we could try to maybe draw some lines. And we could try to do that. But I don't know about you, but that's going to be really, really tiny. There's got to be a better way to do this. I mean, I can almost do that. You see, my lines aren't straight, and holy cow, I don't want to mess with rectangle Y or, uh, or W or Z. They're way too big. Let's see if we can work a little bit smarter. Let's see if we can figure out how many across there are. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got six squares across. And how many squares down? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got six squares down. So what if I were just to do six groups of six? I just would do six and six and six, 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 one for each row. Well, guess what that is? That's multiplication. So that's six times six. And I should know that, that multiplication fact. That is 36 square centimeters. So hey, rectangle V is good to go because it has got 36 square centimeters. So rather than drawing on the inside, I'm just going to see if I can count the number of squares um, across the length and then the number of squares and the width. So rectangle W is going to be pretty big. It's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is like an array. 12 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So even though you've already counted this corner one, make sure you count it again for both the length and the width. Well, 12 times 6 is going to be much too large. So uh, it's 72 square centimeters, so rectangle W is out. So look at that. I've already, already eliminated those. Let's look at X. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 4 times 9. That is going to work. That is 36 square centimeters. So rectangle X is a go. Rectangle B is also a go. Let's see what we have for rectangle Y. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, Oof, 12. That's a big one. But it's only 3 down. So 12 times 3, hopefully you know uh, that fact. If not, we can do a 2 by 1. And we can say that's going to be 6, and that's going to be 3. So that is also... 36 square centimeters, so we're good with rectangle V, good with rectangle X, and good with rectangle Y. Let's see what we have here on rectangle Z. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, 10 times nothing makes 36, but let's just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, 10 times 8 makes 80. That is much too large. So rectangle Z is out. So really, I've just got three. Rectangle V, rectangle X, and rectangle Y. So our answer is going to be J. G is close, but it doesn't include V. So we've got three rectangles that have an area of 36 square centimeters. 